it seems that the situation on the Thai-Cambodian border is calmer than the political atmosphere right in Bangkok here. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is it so? <laughs> Why is the border, which used to be quite hot, suddenly become a calm place, but in, right in Bangkok, we should be calm, has become politically a very explosive situation. Well, honestly, I think we should give credit to the, this uh, Yingluck government uh -huh. and maybe probably Kun Thaksin Chinawatra as well. Uh -huh. After uh, Kun Yingluck visited Cambodia and then mm. we have this uh, big event tomorrow mm -hmm. coming up on the so-called troop redeployment. Redeployment, not withdrawal. No. Um, they will replace, basically they will replace some uh, army troops mm -hmm. with uh, police, border police, Mm -hmm. uh, any, anyone but, uh, but the soldiers. This is on both sides? You're talking about? On both sides of the border. Uh, tomorrow, uh, the Defense Minister of Thailand will mm -hmm. be meeting his uh, Cambodian counterpart mm -hmm. in the area and mm -hmm. also we have a senior army officials, uh, officials from both countries mm -hmm. uh, going to witness this ceremony. Mm -hmm. And is this going to be a permanent arrangement and the World Court's decision is coming up soon too? Um, yeah, actually this is in response to a court order mm -hmm. uh, during the opposite government. Mm -hmm. The court uh, uh, demanded the militarized zone first mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. it can act on the Cambodia request mm -hmm. for the clarification of the court order many, mm -hmm. many decades back on mm -hmm. the Kalparihan, a dispute between the two countries. Mm -hmm. uh, the World Court said that, okay, uh, you have to move back first, mm -hmm. and then this is what will happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, some redeployment, uh, hundreds of soldiers will move out of uh, certain areas around Kalparihan to be replaced by police. But it took uh, both sides a few months after the court uh, asked them to right. redeploy. Right, uh, because the opposite government tried to resist this uh, order of the, uh, of, of, of the court mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, out of uh, uh, listening that they don't trust the Cambodian side. <laughs> so that every time the Thai troops move away from the disputed area, something always happened. Uh -huh. And we have, maybe we have to credit this uh, Yingluck government for, you know, uh, somehow succeeding in uh, uh, reaching some kind of agreement with mm -hmm. Cambodia so that both sides can move away from the border at the same time. Well, at least I think that's because of mutual trust. There's trust on both sides, the mm -hmm. Yingluck government and the Hun Sen government. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, some folks said, okay, if you uh, the, the Democrat Party was saying that why the, uh, the Yingluck government, mm -hmm. you know, why, why, why don't you ask the Cambodian just to drop the case from yes. the World Court, yes. just completely. Uh, that's not going to happen. Well, it's I, not I, that I, easy. Mm -hmm. I think Winston Cambodian cannot do it without facing uh, public outcry from the Cambodian side. And he's right. a politician after all, don't forget. Right, right. Mm -hmm. exactly. So um, after tomorrow, uh, the, the, the next thing that we should keeping a close watch on is whether both sides can agree to have observers mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. area to monitoring this uh, uh, so-called demilitarized uh, activity. Mm -hmm. And then next April, uh, the court will start, uh, the, the hearing of the World Court will be getting into high gear. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then uh, we expect a hearing uh, within maybe September or October next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, we hope that the uh, current uh, peaceful atmosphere on the border will remain mm -hmm. that way so that whatever decision, the verdict coming down from the international court will be accepted by both sides. Unlike the constitutional court decision here, which is not accepted by any <laughs> side at all, hopefully the international court will have a more binding verdict than the Thai constitutional court.